are back with the Hardware Battlefield at CES 2013, 2014, I'm sorry. We're going straight to Health to Sync, who is our next contestant. Edward Dang, founder and CEO of A-Squared from Taipei, Taiwan. We are launching a product called Health to Sync. It's basically a smart accessory that links glucometers to the smartphones. I went to school at the University of Virginia. Um, I've worked on Wall Street, and from Wall Street, I cover technology companies, both so software and hardware. Somewhere in the middle, I thought I wanted to really get my hands on uh, operational. My grandparents have, are diabetic. My parents are diabetic now as well. And seeing the inefficiencies of them tracking their, um, this disease, the team was really thinking about how to, to enable them to track blood sugar levels easier and actually make it intuitive for our targeted audience, which is the seniors. We're taking the serial data out of the glucometers and then transferring the data into the smartphone via a smart accessory that transfers the data into an audio format into the smartphones via the audio jack. And together with the accessory and the application, data gets pushed to the cloud in a secure data center, enabling communities, clinicians, and family members to care for the patient. I think we are really solving a problem that the world is seeing. More and more people are going to be diabetic, and we've put together a solution that can be easily deployed, um, that can be easily used. Uh, it's at the same, most importantly, low cost. It's not rocket science, you know. I think what we, what, at the end of the day, what we're doing is taking different pieces of the puzzle, looping it all together, and offering a, a, a total end-to-end -end solution for diabetes care. TechCrunch is, is a world-renowned platform, and diabetes is a global catastrophe. We thought this platform would really publish us out there, um, not just in the U.S., but globally. And we are back. So this is Ed Deng of Health to Sync. You also notice that Ross Rubin here, he's a principal analyst with Reticle Research. Uh, we brought him, swapped him out for uh, Mr. Park, who had to head out. Ed, you are our second contestant. You have six <laughs> minutes on the clock. You're going to tell us about Health to Sync. Great, thank you. Good morning, it's good to be here. My name is Ed Deng, founder and CEO of H Squared. On the stage, I'm joined by my partner, Aaron. Growing up, I've um, watched all four of my grandparents and now my parents battle diabetes without the proper tools to help them manage their disease. Until today, what you see here, a logbook, is the typical tool that records blood sugar levels, which actually makes sharing and analyzing data difficult. So today, um, proper care for diabetes is, is inadequate and in many countries broken due to the following usability and technical problems. One, uh, manually recording is considered tedious. Two, while digital tools exist, hardware and software are often incompatible and difficult to use for the average user. Three, a platform connecting the patients to the support network doesn't exist. So I'm excited to be launching Health to Sync today. And um, a product of entry to the market is actually this smart cable connecting glucometers to the smart devices via the audio jack. Now, this smart cable is uh, compatible with majority of the glucometers in the market, even those in emerging markets. So that means users don't have to go out and buy new ones. In essence, we're taking legacy devices, bringing them to the digital age, and making them smarter. So I'll quickly walk you through the, the demo and the use case as Aaron connects the glucometer and the, uh, and the pad. So I'll use my grandma as an example. She's type 2 diabetic. She lives in Fairfax, Virginia. She tests herself three times a day. So I guess she would, um, she would sink that pad before going to bed. Please. So notice um, the, the app color codes some of the readings purple or orange if certain numbers are out of range. And in this case, she'll tag her readings before breakfast, after lunch, and before going to bed. Most importantly, she can indicate that she took her medication before going to bed. Now, if there's a certain reading during the day that was out of control, out of whack, that had to do with her moods or certain foods that she had, she can proactively log those in easily as well by tapping on the, on the pad. 
So the data is also transfer easily transferred um, as, a, as interpretable graphs, where it's for her benefit or she can email or send it to the doctor in advance or use it with the doctor the next time she visits. Okay. Now the data is also uploaded uh, into a secure data center where I, as part of the partner function, am one of her partners. So I from Taiwan can use any one of my smart, dev smart devices and view her stats. Aaron will now demonstrate the partner function. So I can take a look at grandma from Taiwan who's in Fairfax, Virginia. Check up on her stats. If she's doing well, as an encouragement, send her a hug. That said, there are going to be times where I'm going to be busy and traveling and may forget to, to check up on her. In which case, I can preset notifications that would alert me. Should grandma forget to sync, to test herself, or if her numbers are out of whack, out of control. So um, this smart solution, basically, this smart solution al along with, uh, with the software that we're offering, basically solve three issues. One, data tedium. Two, data transferability and integrity. And three, data availability to the support network. So while, while we've offered a great uh, utility with focusing on experience, HealthSync also enables a patient-centric patient platform, enabling new forms of interaction with third parties to the patient. So I've already talked about the care providers and the family members. So other parties including insurance companies and in offering flexible insurance premiums as part of the Quantify Self Initiative, or drugstores and pharmacies in targeted marketing, or offering users financial monetary rewards. Those are all different examples of third party, new forms of third party interaction. Mostly, last but not least, this platform also enables us to get into new service business models in the future, and API strategy partnerships, et cetera. While diabetes is a personal issue to our family, it is on its way of becoming a global catastrophe, considering the prevalence is at 400 million this year and rising. I'm delighted to tell you that at the end of this quarter, we will be launching in markets like Europe, China, US, Taiwan, and partnership discussions with service providers in the US in terms of offering new services have begun. To control diabetes is about controlling glucose. Health to Sync aggregates glucose data, ultimately giving control back to you. We need your help to launch Health to Sync. Please visit us at our Indiegogo campaign, also launched this morning. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right, we are back. So let's do a uh, six minutes on the clock for these guys to ask questions. Uh, this is some exciting stuff, Ed. Thank you. No problem. What's the focus of the campaign? What are you trying to raise money for? Um, for our initial build. So do you have an idea of how many units you want to make or what yeah, the uh, cost? And also, like, what, what the cost of the consumer is? Okay. Um, the cost of the consumer, we're looking at MSRP of 35 US dollars. And we're going to make about uh, 2,000 units. And how does $35... Um, how does that fit within the market for other accessories as it relates to diabetes? Excellent question. Um, right now, if we're looking at competing solutions, we're, we're talking in the range of anywhere from 50 to 100 US dollars, like Wi-Fi enabled or Bluetooth enabled glucometers. Now, in a market right now in the state of the economy where the subsidies are actually dropping, we think this solution, when put together with the legacy meters, is quite competitive in terms of offering a totally new experience. In terms of uh, some of the social sharing, uh, yes. at least in the US, are there any HIPAA concerns? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. So actually, our, um, our server will be HIPAA compliant. So one thing I, uh, I guess I, note, I noted is that for anybody to participate in grandma's partner network has to be authorized by her, be it me, her doctor, or the clinicians. The actual um, sure. uh, devices that are the uh, legacy devices, yeah. they already have that jack opening? Yes. You can look in. Majority of them do. Why do they not already offer this already today? Is it because they don't understand software? Or? Um, good question. I think, well, first of all, they exist today because sure. the data is, is generally linked to the PC software. 
And to, let's say if you go to an endocrinologist, he or she has seven or eight different cables with different meters on her desk linking to the PC. Very, 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 in, very not friendly to the user um, for professional use only. So the solution actually does not exist for, for, for users, for you, users like you and I from my grandma linked to the smart devices on the smartphone. And um, all your software is in this uh, device, meaning nothing needs to be downloaded after that, is that correct? Uh, there needs, there, an app needs to be downloaded. Separate um, from this? Separate from that, yes. But there, there are specific proprietary firmware that's in the cable. Why can't this just uh, have you download when you plug in? Um, I wish we could do that, but right now when you plug into the, um, to the iPhone audio jack, it doesn't enable you to automatically download the app. Got so we're thinking, that we're thinking of other ways to, to improve the user experience for people to download the app. Yeah, one other really quick question. Sure. Uh, the HIPAA point got me a little scared there. Yeah. Um, are you thinking about the costs related to HIPAA compliance? Uh, yes, we are looking into that right now. With what, what are the costs for that? Um, roughly in the range of uh, twenty to $50,000. OK. Yeah. What's and your? What, oh. sorry. Go, go ahead. You sure? Yeah, yeah. go for it. Um, what's your distribution strategy? This is obviously a probably not a technology forward yeah, group yeah. of people. Your grandmother may be sure. an exception. Sure. sure. Um, um, great question. So two. Number one, we're working with, right now, we're working with the Asian-based glucometer companies that distribute to the world. India, China, US, etc. That's one method. The other method is the these health outreach program providers in the US. So they've already have, they have distribution to clients already whereas we would be an uh, enabling tool to offer services in another technology manner. So the two, two different strategies. Did you ever think about giving the hardware away for free and charging for the Absolutely. software as a service? I get that question a lot, actually. Um, we are not in the position financially right now. Sure. But say like uh, 12 to 18 months from now, uh, if we could do that, we would absolutely give it, give it out for free or at a very low cost. So yeah. to be clear, what's inside this the little box? Sure. Um, Here you go. Yeah. Sure. Nice. This little box has uh, our proprietary firmware running on it, and there are also electronics that make, it, that make the cable compatible with different meters. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. So, so it proprietary hardware and software. Into? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Really yeah. And is there, is it, so is coming out of that jack, is a digital signal or, an, or is it, okay. an audio signal? Coming out of these glucometer, it's a digital signal. Okay. So this little box basically uh, recognizes the different meters and transfers the signal into the audio signal. It turns it, it into turns it into the audio signal, which yeah. the iPhone hears and then okay, yeah, understands. Yeah. yeah. This is a little bit of a personal question, but you said you had all four of your grandparents had diabetes. Yes. Um, so are any of them still around? And if yes, three of <laughs> are they using this as your pilot? She will be one of my pilots. Um, three of them have passed actually due to diabetes, complication from diabetes. Um, but yes, I will be sending her in Fairfax, Fairfax, Virginia. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much.